Hey y'all, welcome back. Today I want to unpackage a new pen with you. New to me. Um, I took it out of the box because the box had my address on one side and her address and my address on the other side. So I didn't want to, uh, you know, reveal anybody's personal information. But, um, so I pulled it out of the box. But this is a pen that I purchased from Melissa um, at Skydyed Inc. She, you, if you are on Instagram, you probably know her. Um, she sends these stickers out and she'll send you one for free if you ask her for one, I'm pretty sure. And they're super cute. Um, I'm going to put one of these on my laptop this week. I really love them. These are different. That one's like shiny. This one's got like a cool, I don't know, what's that stuff called? Texture. Texture's not the word that I could come up with. This one looks like it's maybe glow in the dark. Just super cool. It's really cute. And then she just sent me some other cute little stickers. I don't know if she's a big time sticker person who just has millions, you know. Um, but how sweet. I really love these. These butterflies are pretty. I really like those. These bows are so sweet. My little niece is starting to wear little bows she doesn't have enough hair to clip them in but you know head bows <laughs> um so the pen is in this bubble wrap this is a pen that i like asked instagram a while back does anybody have one of these you would be willing to sell me and i didn't get any responses um and then melissa reached out and she was like hey are you the one who was looking for this pen um, it is the Gourmet Pens collaboration with Franklin Kristoff. So it's made by Franklin Kristoff for Gourmet Pens, Aziza. Um, and it's called Stars on Sapphire Lakes. Am I saying that right? Pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. And I missed the releases of this one. In fact, like when I first saw it, I was like, oh, I can pass on it. And then I missed the second release after I like, you know, was like, oh, actually, I wish I had gotten it on the first release. And then, um, you know, they, they were limited. So, um, so I missed out. She sent in this really pretty little, um, Taylor Penco leather sleeve. This is so generous of her. Um, I will be using this little sleeve for other things. I think it's leather. Maybe it's faux leather. Regardless, I like it. So here is this pretty pin. Pretty pin. It is sparkly, 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 which if you know Aziza, you are not surprised by that. <laughs> um, she did the Banu collaboration, and what was this called? Unicorn uh, something, whatever, unicorn something. So, I mean, this is Aziza's work here, <laughs> you know, so not surprising that this one is just cool. But this one's a little more... Um, I mean, it's definitely not subtle, but it's less, less in your face, I guess. A little more like subtle, <laughs> I guess that is the word. Um, it is a Franklin Kristoff Model 46, which I believe they have now stopped making the Model 46. Am I right about that? Um, of course, I didn't look it up before I came on here. I'm pretty sure they have stopped making it. I have one other one. I used to have another one or two. But I've downsized my Franklin Kristoff collection. So I have this one in Salmon Glow. Um, that I really like. But yeah. This one like. Is partially about the model. Because I know I like the model. The pen model. But it's this colorway. And these sparkles. Yeah. So these Model 46's. I know you probably won't be able to see this. But are, we might. Right around the cap here. It says engraved Franklin Kristoff 46 there's a 46 right there um and then also there is right here the gourmet pens little G logo see that G oh it's a G and P okay sorry yeah, so I'm really excited about this. I want to ink it up. Um, let's see. It's a little ink 
in it. I'm actually going to go like rinse it real quick and come back. Um, Melissa told me she had to clean it before she sent it to me. And so, you know, I'm not surprised that there's a little bit of color there. I've done that to people before too. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go with, and I didn't even pull this watch card to like see does it match perfectly. Maybe I'll pull it and show it to you in a minute. Poppy A Plume. Snowball Party Collection Plum. And when was this from? I want to say maybe this was 2022? 21? 22? Um, I love this collection. And at first they just released them in minis. And so I bought this set of minis for all five colors. Let's see. Here's the little, the little menu, which I think is so cute, of the five colors. Plum, Tutti Frutti, Spearmint, Tiger's Blood, and Bubblegum. And I know that in some places y'all call this a snow cone, but in Louisiana we call it a snowball. Um, but anyway, they came in minis, and I bought the set of five minis. And then when they released the, the full size, I was like, yep. So I <laughs> went ahead and snatched up the full size as well, because I just, I really love Papier Plume inks. If you haven't used them, they're really high quality and um, I have never had issues with them. Like they do a really great job and they come up with some pretty unique colors. You know, lots of New Orleans themed things, which is really fun. So they're not too far from me. They're not like in my town, but they are uh, not too far down the road. I don't get to, I don't go over there as much as I would like to. New Orleans is like you know, like it, it would only take me about an hour to get there, which for some people is like not a big thing, but going to New Orleans is an event, you know, like you don't just go real quick. Like it's traffic and, you know, the roads are kind of crazy and I don't know, even though I live pretty close, it feels really far away and it feels like a whole other world in a lot of ways to go to New Orleans. So I enjoy it when I'm there. Like I don't go like party and stuff like that, but you know, I go once in a while with family and go to the French quarter and, you know, shop around and stuff like that. We usually go to Papier Plume, but, um, but it, not very often, even though we live pretty close. So let's do a little writing sample coming from Melissa. I have no doubt that this nib is good should have no issue so that's not what this is about and here actually let me grab the swatch card and I'll show you here is that swatch card so it's not like a I mean you know a, a, a a teal probably would have been a better uh, match for this pen, but that purple goes right with that light purple in the pen. Um, this is the first new pen that I have bought since the Leonardo Memento Magico Bella di Note um, from Gold Spot back in June is when I bought that one. Um, so it's been a while and that's really good. I'm kind of proud of myself. I've seen a lot of pretty things that I've said no to and uh um you know I'm kind of proud of myself right now for that but when Melissa reached out I could not say no to this and honestly that's why I've been saying no to everything else is because you know I was waiting for like something that was something I had been waiting for or um something you know extra special or something like that so um these do post pretty nicely um, uh, if you don't, if you haven't used Franklin Christoph pens, you, you won't know, but they're very lightweight, um, comfortable. The bl I don't know if I didn't point this out, but the threads on these number 46s and on several different styles by Franklin Christoph um, are down here at the base of the grip, which would you call it the base, the end of the grip close to the nib, um, which is kind of weird. And sometimes I do end up with my fingers on there and they're a little bit they're not sharp. Actually, these feel pretty smooth, but you know, you can feel that if your fingers creep down there. Um, but it's still a very comfortable pen to use in my experience. So anyway, I know you're waiting for this. This is the 
Which way do you do it? Gourmet pins. By Franklin Kristoff. Number 46. Probably I should have done model 46. Or they'll do M M46 for model 46. Stars on Sapphire Lakes. This has a medium Yovo nib. And I have inked it with Papier Plume. Snowball. Okay, I didn't spell it like they did. Snowball. That's what you'll see a lot of times on snowball stands. Party. Plum. In fact, there is, I don't know if, well, this is named after the color or the flavor, but down in New Orleans, there is a snowball stand called Plum Street Snowballs. It's on Plum Street. And it's been there for many, many years. I don't, I don't pretend to know like the actual details of that, but it's been there for a very long time and is a very, very popular snowball stand. Um, it's kind of just a little like little bitty house, little hole in the wall kind of place, but very popular snowball stand. Not a nice purple. It's not very dark. So you can see over here, here's that scented violet. And then do I have... This is regular Murasaki Shikibu, but, um, and you can see it's a little bluer than the plum. It's usually a little bit darker, but this, this EF nib is super fine. And so it's coming out a little bit lighter. By the way, this Memento Magico, I know I was kind of hard on it. Like when I first opened it, I have been using this pen nonstop. Like it has stayed in my bag. Um, I'm, I'm planning and have been planning on doing a, um, state of my pen case video which is basically just like it's sort of a currently inked but it's not really an intentionally inked it's just what pens have ink in them and it's kind of sad honestly I think because I have so many pens that have been inked for not so many I mean that sounds terrible but like I have quite a few pens that have been inked for upwards of six months to a year maybe longer certainly some of them are longer than a year and a few that are sort of more recently inked and but I haven't like updated like I haven't cleaned everything like I have three mugs full of pens to clean in my kitchen right now so it's a little bit sad of a situation and I feel like I just kind of want to do a state of my pen case talk through what's in there and then um like I'm not I don't like to pressure myself to use up every drop of ink out of a pen so I'm not really doing that, but I'm kind of just trying to use what's in my pen case right now and not because it's a big, like it's one of those big Galen leather 40 pen cases. It's not full. It's probably got 25 pens in it maybe. Um, but like, I just, I'm at that point where I'm like, I don't want to ink anything else really. I mean, obviously something new is different, but I don't want to ink anything else just to stick it in here. But I also am not ready to clean some of these. So I'm just like ugh, trying to use the tail end of some of the ink and get to a point where I do feel good about pretty much just cleaning everything and starting fresh. I don't know. Y'all know me. I'm not like a monthly currently inked person. Kind of wish that I, you know, enjoyed that a little more. But also, you know, I'm just me and I just ink what I want to when I want to. <laughs> so anyway, here I am rambling. Um. This is my new pen. I'm very excited to have it in my collection. It's been a long time coming. And thank you to Melissa for selling this to me and sending it to me so quickly. She got it in the mail like super fast, um, even though I told her she didn't have to rush. And um, yeah, I'm very excited to have it. It's going to go in my pen case to go to work with me tomorrow. So um, yeah, go follow Melissa. Skydye Ink at Skydyed. I always want to just say sky dye ink, but it's sky dyed ink, like tie dyed. Sky dyed ink on Instagram. Go follow her. 
and tell her I sent you. And you don't have to do that. Uh, but yeah, go follow her. And uh, anyway, hope you all have a great day. Thank you for watching. Um, let me know if the state of my pen case sounds like a good video to see. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.